Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Cohen and I'm a software engineer at Avangard Finance. Today I'm going to walk through our new release of the Mellon Terminal, which is a front-end application for interacting with the Mellon Protocol smart contracts on Ethereum. The interface serves two types of end users, investors and fund managers. You can think of these sort of like LPs and GPs in the traditional finance world. So if you're an investor, uh, the homepage shows a general view of the funds that are active in the Mellon ecosystem at the moment. Um, this Mellon Fund Universe component lets you sort uh, and only show active funds. I'm actually going to look through and just see the funds that are on the most recent version of the protocol and do a little diligence to see if there's any I want to invest in. So as you can see, there are a couple with more assets than others. I think those are probably more serious fund managers. So I'm going to click into Impact here, which has 5,000 US under management and has seen a fairly tough couple of weeks, but done pretty well. So as you can see here, their portfolio holding shows everything that they're currently got. Um, they're about 70, 30 Ether and Maker. The fun fact sheet lays out um, sort of what the fund's structure is. So they're allowed to trade on Kyber Network, Uniswap, Oasis Dex, 0x, etc. If you're an investor, you can invest with DAI, Melon, uh, Single Collateral DAI, USDC, Wrapped Bitcoin, and Wrapped Ether. Uh, down here, you can see they haven't been around long enough to hit these uh, timeframes, but since their inception, uh, impact is only down 5% versus Ether. Um, considerably more versus uh, the dollar stable coin, but that's, it's been a tough month. And 13% versus Bitcoin. Um, down here, you can see the deployed versions of all of the fund contracts, if you wanted to check that out on Etherscan. And there are no rules governing how this fund can trade. So as a prospective investor, this looks pretty decent, but I think what I really want to do is open up a fund of my own. So I am already logged in via um, Firefox, or excuse me, MetaMask, uh, but you can log in however you'd like, uh, connection provider, and go here to create a fund. So I'm going to start EEK Capital. I'm going to likely be the only investor, so I'm actually going to not charge any fees. Uh, performance fee period doesn't matter. And I'm going to give myself all the options um, for all the different exchanges. And I'm going to allow myself to invest with everything that's in my wallet. So any of these ERC20 tokens. Uh, read and accept these terms and conditions, which basically says you're still governed by the rules of your jurisdiction. And click create a fund. At this point, you'll start uh, a flow which is signing nine transactions. Each one will deploy a customized Mellon smart contract for your fund. Uh, it takes a little bit and lucky you, I'm going to cut out most of the waiting time and post, but I would point out that when you create these contracts, you're building the framework for an investment fund in a way that in the real world would cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars or die or whatever. So I'm going to go through this uh, quickly here. I'll choose the fast gas price. Actually, I'm going to choose the average gas price because I'll cut it out for you in post. Next, I'll create the accounting contract. Next, we're creating the fee manager contract. The participation contract. The policy manager contract.
Next up is the shares contract. Cool, next up we have the trading contract. Oops. Aggressively clicked there. Let's see. Great. Next up, the vault contract. This one's pretty cheap, so I'll pay the fast gas. Great. Finally, we will complete the setup. Now, as a newly minted fund manager, the first thing I would do is define a rule set that when, when I make trades, I have to follow. So this gives your investors a clear view on what you can and can't do with their money. As you can see, there are a number of different rules here. I'm actually not going to deploy them in the interest of time, but they're all fairly self-explanatory. Price tolerance means that if a, an asset is greater than X percent away from the last price feed update, you won't be able to trade it. Um, the rest of that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, I'm going to invest in my own fund. So in order to invest in a fund, you have to invest with ERC20 tokens. If you don't have any WEF, uh, you can do that. You can get yourself some here in the wrap ether. I happen to have a little bit of weft ready to go. Investing in a fund is a three-step process. First, the investor approves the smart contract to transfer tokens into the fund. Second, the investor creates an investment request. And third, that request is executed. And that can be done by anyone with access to the contract. So uh, I have 0.2 weft here. I'm going to say, give me 0.2 shares. Not enough. 0.1 shares. I'll invest. Gas is expensive at the moment, but I'll go ahead and confirm that. Next, I will create the investment request. And finally, we'll execute the investment request. And just like that, Aaron Cohen, the LP, has invested in Eek Capital, the GP. So back as a fund manager here, I'm going to go and make my first trade. So as you can see on the trading tab, we have three different options. One, the first is order book trading, and this is an aggregated order book that pulls from um, Oasis, Oasis decks and 
um, sorry, 0x relay, relayers. Next is liquidity pool trading. Um, this gives you access to both the Kyber network and Uniswap, as well as the Melon engine, um, which is sort of our uh, tokenomics incentive provider. Uh, you can read more about that on the Melon documentation. Or you can request a quote on 0x from a private market maker. Um, they'll send you back the price and you, the contracts or the trade settles on 0x. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to sell a little bit of my WEF and I'm going to buy, I'm going to go to cash. So let's see, sell 0.25 WEF and they'll give me 28.34 die for that. Oof. So you go through the usual transaction flow. And there it is, trade complete. I also wanted to show an example of the liquidity pool trading. Everyone's seen an order book before, you know how that works, but I think this, uh, the Kyber and Uniswap integrations are super cool. So I'm gonna sell a little bit of WEF to buy some, what do I want? I'll buy some more Bitcoin. Uh, I've got about a one and a half WEF. I'll just sell. 0.25, you can see that the rates are identical. So I'll use Kyber. Wait for the transaction to confirm. And there we have it. Um, as a fund manager, you can trade around however you like, uh, as long as it's within the rule set, which you can actually go back after you've deployed the fund and edit here. The admin tab gives you all the different options to um, change your, uh, your investable assets and the allowed exchanges. Uh, it, uh, this is also where, as a manager, if you hadn't chosen zero fees, uh, you could claim your management fees. just want to spend a minute on the fund overview page here. This is where you can see the vital statistics and really the framework of what I built with those smart contracts. Um, here are my portfolio holdings, uh, and on the left, the fund fact sheet, which uh, gives you an instant look at my gross asset value, net asset value, uh, the number of shares outstanding and the share price so you can see performance um, after i've been up and running for a year you'll be able to see annualized return and volatility you can see the exchanges i'm authorized to trade on and the investable assets so it is a pretty valuable top-down look at, at any given fund and that's it any questions we have a very active telegram channel um, we're also on keybase twitter uh, you can find us pretty much wherever at avantgarde finance and thank you very much for watching.